Hello Makers! Welcome to 3D Maker Noob! I'm Joe and today I have a very very special unboxing to do. The Mosaic Palette. Stick around! Welcome back Makers! So I'm really 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 excited today. I have been completely surprised that Mosaic have been uh, so awesome to offer to send me a palette to play with. I've been following them for quite a while. I have been looking at their updates on Instagram and all the prints that this thing can help produce. So I am extremely excited to try it out. Now, for some of you, Mosaic palette is, is something new. You don't know what it is. I've had quite a few questions already. And the, the way it works is it comes as an addition. It's a box that pretty much will be an extension to your printer. What it does is it takes four different colored filaments. It only works on 1.75 millimeter filaments and they have to be the same property filaments. So all four of them have to be PLA. It feeds them through this machine right here and this machine will then start chopping and splicing filaments together and then feeding them to your printer's extruder in order to print with four different colors. So the amount of precision that goes into something like this has got to be absolutely insane because it has to calculate how much filament each layer has to take and then the priming tower and then swapping filaments and changing once again and ultimately four rolls of filaments go into the mosaic palette and only one is fed through the extruder. It's not cheap. It comes to about, I, I think it's about 990 euros. So it, it's fairly costly. However, the potential is unlimited because the, the only limitations you have is not what you can do, it's the printer volume in terms of printing. The great thing about this is it can be attached to absolutely any printer that you choose to. Now, it, it took me a while to decide which printer I'm going to be using this on. I don't want to use it on the Prusa i3 Mark II because I'm still waiting for the multicolor add-on. I will not add it for now to the Anet A8 or A6 because I still have to fully review those. I cannot add it to the CR10 or the uh, X3 because I still have to review those. The, um, the Trinus is about to have the full review out, so um, possibly not that because even the build volume, since that needs a prime tower, ideally I would like a larger build volume. So the Enervision EV160 will be the candidate of choice for two reasons. The build volume is, is fairly decent, 16 by 16 by 16. I can produce some nice quality prints in terms of size. And also it's a Core XY or H Core or Core H printer. I can't remember exactly what it's called, um, but it's a direct drive extruder and therefore it should make it much more easier. I can still install this on Deltas, but I'm gonna go with the Enervision EV160 because it's been very reliable in terms of printing quality. Having said all that, let's get opening, shall we? So let's see what is in the box. Some packing bubbles. We have a quick start guide. This looks awesome. Okay, we have this is so cool. A little note for me. Hi Joe, we are very excited to send you this palette on your way. We love your attitude, your content, and how you give back to the community. We can't wait to see what you make with your palette. Happy printing. Brennan and the Mosaic team. You guys are absolutely awesome. I am 
absolutely stoked about this. So thank you very much. Now, there is a note that says here, this squirtle was made with your palette. So, oh my God, <laughs> this thing is gorgeous. This, the, the, wow. I'm, I'm, abs I'm absolutely blown away. Print quality is really nice. The colors are insane. The color, there's, there's no color bleed whatsoever. It's really, really clean. I am seriously, seriously impressed. That is so cool. Okay. There it is. So this right here, this box is the palette itself. It is really, really heavy. Seriously heavy. That goes to the side. Then we have power cord. We have a toolkit. We have some clear filament, it seems. We have some clips. Some more printed parts with Velcro on them. We have an eight gig SD card. A very, it looks like a PTFE tube, but the sides are sort of done in a very particular way. So I, I have an idea of what that is, but for the sake of not looking like a complete idiot, I'm gonna hold my um, my thoughts on that for now. <laughs> and we have some more parts and a USB cable. Then we have power brick. Oh yes, power brick. <laughs> power brick, not a PSU. It's a meanwhile power brick and it takes 12 volts, 6.67 .6 amps, 80 watts max. Cool. Then we have a rod, which feels like aluminum. What else? We also have this little gadget over here. Now, this particular thing is very interesting because if I remember correctly, this is what calculates how much filament is going through. So this is what basically tells the palette how to mix, when to mix, and so on and so forth. This right here is also magnetic, I just realized. So this, all these PTFE tubes are done at a particular length, uh, which is how it calculates it so precisely. So I don't recommend if you get one of these, changing these PTFE tubes. And that seems like that's it. And that's the mosaic palette unboxed. I cannot begin to explain how excited I am. Looking at the Squirtle here in four different colors, it, it blows me completely away. This is so cool and I'm so, so excited to start printing as many things as possible. So the question is, what do you guys want me to print with it? I will not do a, a live build of this. Well, strictly speaking, it's already built. It's in one piece. It's just a matter of connecting. The, um, the harder part will be to sort of dialing in the settings. And I honestly speaking, I have no idea where to begin. So I'll have to study this a bit to make sure that I get the hang of it. And maybe we'll do a live stream Q and A once I get it up and running and printing. And um, I'm hoping I'll need a few days for that. But yeah, I'm, I'm super stoked about this. So I can't wait to get going. That is it for today, guys. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this episode. Um, please like, comment, share, subscribe. If you have any questions about the Mosaic Palette, let me know. If I cannot answer them myself, I'll get the Mosaic team to give me the answers for you and I'll let you know. 
In the meantime, as always, happy making, guys.